Ace money the name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a BNE. We're handicappers, so it's the SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. Going on. I'm Ace Money, and this is Sportsbook Robbery. This is for uh, Wednesday, the 16th of October, Game 3. We got uh, Liberty going to Minnesota. Liberty leads the series 2-1. to one. Um, Lines all with up at minus 1.5. Liberty is a favorite. Total 160 and a half and uh, minus 120, minus 102. Then uh, they went up a little. Liberty, uh, more of the favorite, minus three and a half, uh, minus four, Bet Rivera, uh, Caesar. You can find it at best odds. Uh, total stayed the same. And the odds shot up to uh, 165, Bet Rivera. Bet Rivers, you can find it. Um, Liberty 158 is the best you can find it on Caesars. Uh, not Liberty, Minnesota, sorry. Plus 158. Um, you know, it's possibly they can take it. I'm not, I mean, they very well might take it today and going home. Uh, that crowd energy, and if they, you know, do some old three. Team stats, um, points leaders, Collier and Stewart, as we figured. Rebound, Collier and Jones, as usual. Assist, do we have five? And uh, Williams, eight. Uh, sometimes the adjustment is still we being the ball carrier, so Sabrina could come off of uh, screens and off the ball and basically play like Curry. Um, this is crazy because uh, Sabrina, she didn't have no, I think she had two points or one point in the second half. She didn't shoot the ball at all. But, uh, you know, Annie Hamilton had her breakout game. She's coming off injury. I made money with her all year. And then she got hurt and she was trying to rough it out. And, uh, we started messing up with her, and then she finally decided to have the surgery. And uh, she's been on a minute restrictions, only playing a couple minutes at a time. And uh, she finally played 30 minutes, and she got her confidence back, and she looked good. She looked like an old self. She's always great at D. She, uh, she always contributed to rebounds and assists, but just a shot was off. She was only having, you know, around five points a game. But our real quick field goals, we had uh, 27 to to 29. They both shot 60. Uh, Liberty, about the same percentage. Liberty hit a couple more threes, a little 15%, three-point percentage better. So that's going to change today. Minnesota's going to shoot better from home, and they got some snipers. Um, free throws, we, should, we doubled them up, but only hit a couple more. Rebounds, we got them on there. Say we as in Liberty, New York, let's go. Um, offensive rebounds, we got five more than them, so that definitely helps. Uh, assist. Lynx has got more assists, which is uh, understandable because they assist on like 75% of their buckets. We have more steals. We had, they didn't have any blocks. Kalia had no blocks. Atlanta Smith had no blocks. Definitely helped us. Turnover is 20 to 18, but the problem is they had they had more. But look at the points on their turnovers. They had 26 points on New York's turnovers. We only had 17. So imagine if they didn't have them. Uh, they have great defense, though, so that's expected. Points in the paint, they led. Fast break points, Liberty led. Uh, we need the Liberty needs to lead in that because you let you let Minnesota set up their half court D. It's over. You're getting shot clock violations and uh, turnovers. 
that's what happens. Uh, that's what happened the first game. They ended that fourth quarter, and then that overtime, we had more turnovers than points. Uh, fouls were the same. I'll just lead Liberty by seventeen. Uh, definitely going to be some adjustments, but uh, other than that, you know, it's going to be more uh, crowd energy. Liberty, uh, Minnesota's, you know, they're going to be thriving. Uh, and we got to see if, if Liberty can silence the crowd and get them out of the game. Uh, who's going to step up? I got a couple ideas. Let's get into these plays. Going to Brittany Laney Hamilton. Now, bear with me, right? Uh, points, rebounds, and assists, though, 14 and a half. Minus 130 right now. Fandle. Now, they got her points line. She had a breakout game. And I say that because she's she's a great player. She's coming. She was rehabbing off of injury. Minutes weren't up there, as well as her productivity. Product, productivity. She uh, she was still getting rebounds and assists and game con contributing. Uh, you know, her defense is great, too. But uh, her points and stuff, she wasn't herself. Um, she finally played some minutes, and uh, she believed in her shot. She, you know, she seen it go through. She believed in her shot. She looked good. She felt good. She came out at the right time. So they got her points line at nine and a half. They got her assist line at two and a half, and rebounds plus money at three and a half. Which, mind you. You know, it's had a mess, but she's been clearing it. And Minnesota is ranked eighth overall in rebounds. Um, so when you add that all up, uh, it's more than it's 14 and a half. I think it's 15 and a half or 16. But uh, so 14 and a half is, is, is low. Now, she had 20 points last game. So obviously, she cleared that. Now, all these games... She didn't, you know, hear her there, but uh, she uh, she's playing four minute intervals and she wasn't herself. So if she's back to herself, she's going to kill this number. I'm not saying she's going to have 20 points, but she's going to kill this number. And then by game uh, five, the books are going to be on it and this number is going to go up and everything else. So I'm figuring, let me jump on it now. Uh, I've been watching her as it is, so uh, I can do on this outlier here. She played 30 minutes last game, so we'll break this down, which she hasn't played in a while. Uh, we'll go to 29 and see where we're at. Look what happens when she plays 29 minutes. That's the last 10 games. We'll go to the year. She plays 29 minutes. See what the fuck I'm talking about? She go who? She played 31, almost 32 minutes last game. So she plays, she's back to her normal self, playing her normal minutes, being able to be on that court. She's going over this without a doubt. Without a doubt. So. She plays 30 minutes. Hopefully, her, you know, her recovery for the last two days, they had a couple days off because they're going to Minnesota. She should be all right. So I played a PRA, 14 and a half. It's too low. I also played her three points. They got one and a half, a good plus money. Now, when she's on, at the beginning of the year, we were playing her up until basically half the year. She's a sniper. You know, this is... Uh, This is regular. This is, you know, with all coming back from the injury, the low minutes, not low, low minutes, but, you know, someone's knee, you have a knee surgery. Unfortunately, you know, you leaving your shot falls different. So we'll do the same thing. Bump it up to 29 minutes. It's definitely looking better. Uh, main, main bet. Regular unit size, PRA. Plus money plays like this. I always bet less. 
uh, unit size right now is $35. I bumped it up. It was $25. So uh, I bet a half unit, $18. But uh, it's just what works for me, uh, you know. But, uh, yeah, so let's get it. Laney Hamilton, PRA, and then over one and a half threes. Uh, Phoebish three pointers, they brought it back down. Uh, over one and a half, minus 112. Uh, have multiple books. You have to if you're going to do this on the regular. Uh, you see the discrepancies. DraftKings got a 140. Uh, you know what I mean? So 112 to 140, that's a big difference. Um, for the year, you know. It hasn't been that greatest, but uh, of course, she hasn't been in the starting lineup. Look at her minutes. I'm not really going to spend too much time on this. Um, break it down to the last five. She got put in the starting lineup a couple weeks ago. Uh, she only shot the ball like three times last game. Yeah, three times. Well, that was three pointers. Uh, I'm on three pointers. But um, she went one for three. Uh, Minnesota's going to shoot the lights out tonight. I have a feeling New York's going to have to contribute, which leads to players like Phoebus hitting her. You know, everybody, everybody's got to contribute. So uh, she's got to get her at least her average one and a half, two. You can't get one in hand, but you know what I mean. Uh, hitting at least two, she needs two. Uh, go to the last 10. Looks a lot better, right? Um, yeah, I'm not really worried. As long as she gets a couple of shots, she's going to go over there. She can shoot the ball. So uh, next up, I played uh, her rebounds. Now they bumped it up. We killed it last game. Uh Never al never alter your betting size. Always try to keep it consistent because you're going to go on winning streaks. You're going to go on losing streaks. And if you change it when you're winning and losing, you, you'll bury yourself real quick. Um, it might look good when you're winning, but you're going to hit those losing streaks. It just happens. Things happen. Shit happens. You're off. The game's off. I'm off. Like, it happens. Um, they bumped this up. Uh, I knew when it was at three and a half, I should have hammered it, but I just get scared because every time I do that, it fucks up. Um, plus 120. I still got to still believe she can do it. Uh, these last three games, she's cleared it. It is descending, going down. But um, the minutes went down a little bit last game, too, but... Uh, Nothing crazy. Uh, she will. She plays on the court with Laney. Uh, basically, they kind of switched up the starting lineup too, or the main players. They have been playing. They moved. Uh, not Phoebus, not Sabrina. The other, the the other guard. Can't think of her name. They moved the, her to the, she's not playing that much. Uh, she comes off the bench, brings a little spark, a little energy. Uh, but the starting five has basically been Sabrina, uh, Stewie, Laney, Phoebish, and John Quell. So let me try to have them on most of the time. But, uh, yeah, she should be able to go over this. Um, I expect Minnesota to put up some threes and hopefully they miss some and be some long rebounds as well. As she's a tall guard. Got her listed here as a forward, but she's, you know, she's guarding Williams most of the time. And either way, she's, she's out there scrapping. Uh, like I said before, plus money plays. Uh, I always bet less, even though this is only plus 120. I just... I always do the odds for a plus money play to hit are, are way low. So uh, you guys know that. You know the odds for a play is actually a percentage. Like in different countries, this is an actual percentage. 
if you look at my uh, my bio or my link where I have all that stuff linked, there's actually a list. If you click it, it'll say, uh, it says uh, odds versus percentage or some shit. It'll actually tell you. So, like, it'll tell you what a minus 120 play, what the percentage of that is to hit. And really what you're supposed to do is you take that percentage and you look at this percentage or the actually the percentage for the year. And usually if this percentage is higher than the percentage that they're offering, it's a good probability that that'll hit. Uh, I got to make videos on how to do all that stuff. But uh, yeah, let's get it. Phoebus, do me proud. All right, so I'm um, going to Minnesota now. Uh, Cyber with Liberty out of the side to lay off Sabrina. She's probably going to go over her threes. Uh, we never know what's going to happen. She's going to do what she got to do to win. Um, it's crazy her not shooting that whole second half, but that threw the other team off too. They're showing so much attention to her, and you letting other people score. Uh, that could have been part of the game plan. But... um. Yeah, Coney Williams, uh, FanDuel minus one or two. If you can get better MGM, it's even money. Uh, 13 and a half. They raised it out. You know, all year it's been at like 10 and a half, 11, sometimes 12. Uh, it was just at 12 and a half. We played it last, the other game. She's cleared this four out of five. Uh, she, you know, she's the mid range assassin. Said it's the last time I've been saying it forever. It shouldn't be an issue. Her uh, dad's going to be there at, at home, and sh she goes off uh, regardless. And she's not scared of the, you know, the spotlight. She's not. She's already a champion uh, for Connecticut and stuff. A few other teams she's played on. I'm not even sure. But um, expect her to have a good game. She's going to do what she has to do. Uh, her, her sis has been crazy, everything else. Uh, her rebounds have been good. You know, I think she might have missed the last game, but it's been close. Uh, PRA, but it don't make sense to do all that shit. She's going to go over 13 and a half, so might as well just play that. Um, yeah, let's get it. All right, so uh, Atlanta Smith. Now, you've been watching... You know, we always play her rebounds. Not always, but when we play her, we play her rebounds. Um, I've never played her assists before. Maybe I should have. Uh, they got a two and a half. Excuse me. Uh, minus 130, 140. Fan I played it. Um... She didn't clear this last game, but she's cleared a lot of games before that. She don't go much over it. But these last, you know, four games, she cleared it three out of the four. She's out there. She's active. Uh, sometimes she does get in foul trouble, but she's – they need her on the court. She contributes a lot. Rebounds, uh, good defense, loose ball hustler. She's an ex-volleyball player. If you've been watching, I always say that. She's a scrapper. She dives on the floor. She's, she's out there turning red, you know. But, um, yeah, so she should be able to go over this. Uh, I I liked her threes, too. She don't always hit her threes, but they're coming home. And when they come home, she don't really shoot that many either. But... I mean, the odds are so good that it's like, uh, do I spend $20 on it? Uh, one and a half, yeah, I'm gonna. This is not a play I gave. I'll drop it in the community when I actually bet it. I'm gonna give you guys the plays I actually bet. I will not give you anything that I don't put money on. I always put the money on it first. Um, this is the problem. This is why I didn't bet it now that I'm looking at it. But I just know her, like, and from watching the games, and every time I want to bet it and I don't, she ends up hitting two or three of them. Um, and at plus 194, I might take a leap at it. But, uh, yeah, so her assist, two and a half. 
uh, Minnesota assists on, I think, like 75% of their buckets. Now, ball's getting moved around. So, uh, yeah, hopefully it gets moved around head-to-head, 67% for the year, 65%. They have played one, two, three, four, six games this year, and she's cleared it in four. So, you know, not as a guarantee, but she's exceeded two and a half in 10 of the last 13 games, averaging 3.1. Home games. Let's see where she at. Last 10 home games, 8 out of 10. Let's get it. Lana Smith. And like I said, if you're feeling ballsy or, or just paper better, you don't always got to put money on something. Paper better, write it down. Going back, not back, haven't played her in a couple of days. Uh, Bridget Carlton, they got her points line, they brought it back down, 8.5. Uh, sweet, sweet spot for her. Uh, minus 118 FanDuel right now, 110. Now, if you've been watching the channel, you know we've been playing the threes all year. Occasionally, we play our rebounds. Um, she's been off a little bit. And then I noticed she started wearing a sleeve on her right leg, uh, right calf area, ankle calf area. So I don't know if she tweaked a calf. A little strained muscle, but they're coming off a couple of days of rest now because of the transfer to play at Minnesota. Um, coming off that loss, home crowd energy, home court familiar. For, home court is familiar. We just use that word. Um, I expect her to have a good night. Now, when I say good night, that doesn't mean she's scoring 20 points because that's not her style. Uh I do expect her to go over eight and a half points. I expect her to get a couple of rebounds. Uh, it doesn't really make sense to do points and rebounds because I feel like she's going to go over eight and a half. If it was nine and a half, ten, I would say no. But uh, she needs to contribute, and she does have that capability. Uh, and you know, when you're hitting shots, other parts of your game, you get more involved anyway. So when she's hitting her threes which she's got a great three-point percentage for the year. It's one of the best in the league. Uh, it's, it's over 40%. Uh, I do like her threes at two and a half. I've been playing it all year. You know, sometimes, you, that's why, once again, this is why you don't jockey your unit size or the amount you can bet per play. Because, say, it's always been like plus 160, something up there. Eventually, she hits it a couple of days in a row, it goes down, right? So we're making it, just say it, we're cashing it, 160, 160, 140, 120. Bam, we miss it. When I missed it, I was only losing $25 at the time. It was, that's what I was betting per play. Bam, you hit, it, hit, and hit, and bam, you missed it. You're only losing 25 And now if you alter your bet size, say I would have bet $100 that day. Bam, I would have lost $100. You know what I'm saying? Bam, bam. So uh, the problem is right now it's at one. It's at uh, one and a half. So it looks a lot better than it should be. I'm playing it at two and a half. But uh, yeah, this looks better. And then even over here, I got in a rhythm. If you guys been riding with me, you remember. I mean, I missed it a couple of times, but then I got in that rhythm. It was one off, one on. We catch that bitch like two weeks in a row. It's crazy. But, uh, yeah, I have a feeling like she's going to hit a shot today. She got a little time to recover, whatever it's dealing with. I mean, it's not in the papers. I couldn't find anything. Uh, it's hard to find anything on WNBA anyway, whether it's stats, statistics, injuries. I mean, I'm not trying to look shit off. I'm typing the exact date. The exact, why is she wearing a sleeve on her right ankle? Da, 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 right in everything. Shit's bringing shit back from three years ago. It's crazy. I don't know. This is just me. But, uh, all right. So if this works out for you, hit that thumb. 
New viewers, subscribe and let's turn on your notifications so you get all my plays, my live bets. Uh, you don't have them with WNBA, but NFL, hockey, uh, tinkering in hockey again. I got 2 0 so far. Um, haven't made a video or anything, but uh, I like to give it a couple days, a couple like a week or two with the teams. You know, it's kind of season just started, but it's still like preseason type shit. Um, yeah, and likes and comments. Leave a comment. What's up? Likes and comments help get the videos out there. I appreciate everyone. Let's get it. Ace money to me. I'm getting paid for the game. Go New York. Go New York. <laughs>